A woman known as the human computer who broke race and gender barriers working at NASA in the 1960s will never be forgotten. Yeah, to remind generations of her accomplishments, NASA Langley's Research Center's newest building is named after Katherine Johnson. Center on your side, Aaron Kelly was at this afternoon's ribbon cutting. Aaron. Well, Katherine Johnson says her job was to answer questions to the best of her ability. She never thought it would go this far. The woman who worked as a human computer is now 99 years old, and it is fitting that a building named after her will be used to tackle complex computations. More than 50 years after her computations behind the scenes helped man into space, retired mathematician Katherine Johnson got her first look at a NASA building that bears her name. She is a bar that I'm trying to scale. Um, in comparison, uh, space is, is easier because she did everything I'm trying to reach for, but she did it here in gravity. Thank goodness for the movie and the book that actually came out and people got to understand what this woman meant to our country. I mean, she really broke down the barriers. Marco Lee Shetterly, who wrote the book Hidden Figures about Johnson and the women who worked with her, said the trailblazers laid the foundation for the new facility. We are living in a present that they willed into existence with their pencils, their slide rules, their mechanical calculating machines, and of course, their brilliant minds. The $23 million, 37,000 square foot computational research facility will be used for studying challenges like turbulence and the entry into another atmosphere like Mars. One. To those who will carry on her work in the new building, Johnson had this advice. Do your best, but like it. Like what you do, and you, then you will do your best. Great advice from her. Now, the facility consolidates four data centers and more than 30 server rooms. It is the third building in NASA Langley's 20-year revitalization plan. Live in Hampton, Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side.